Did you ever fall madly in love with somebody, something, or a sport like pickleball and then find out after the fact you didn't know these five things that you really hate about them, but you still love the sport so much? Pickleball lovers, this is going to be such a fun segment. And don't forget to have a good day. That is so funny. Isn't everyone though? <laughs> do you feel that way too? Yeah. How did he? <laughs> what the heck? Oh! The number one reason that I hate pickleball so much, but I'm so madly in love with it is. One, the friends that you made when you came into pickleball, you will lose. You may lose. You might keep. What I'm saying is you will lose them to advance, to get better, or they might leave you to advance, to get better, to another group. Look, we don't have much time in our everyday life as it is. So we spend that time with our friends playing pickleball. If we don't have them in our life, we, you know, we lose them. Yeah! The number two reason I hate pickleball so much, but I'm still madly in love with it. Court space will seem less and less because of drive to get better. Like your friends left you already and then you can't find court space because it's not advanced play. Like in rec play, it's like 4-0, a lot of bangers, but you're not going to get better. You're not. Seriously, let's have a challenge court in every single park around America to combat this great illness of losing our friends. The number three reason I hate pickleball so much, but I'm still madly in love with it. The law of diminishing returns. I've done many videos on this. You could take a look, but basically it means that ecstasy, that feeling you get when you hit an ATP or Ernie and you feel so good. It doesn't feel that great the next time and the next time it's not that good either. And then it's like, you're not grateful at all. The number four reason I hate pickleball so much, but I'm still madly in love with it, madly in love with it. So we don't have court space, we lost our friends, we don't feel as good, then we can't find partners as we get better, right? Because it's very tough at the higher level to find partners, and this is the next big thing you're gonna struggle with. You're gonna struggle with it so much. Having a good partner does make you a good tournament player. It is the one golden rule. If you have a partner you always play with, you'll be extremely good at tournaments. The number five reason I hate pickleball so much, but I'm still madly, madly in love with it. You're never going to feel good if you get too competitive. Someone's always going to be better. Kyle Yates is always going to kick my, you know what, he knows. I was like, whoa. Pickleball lovers, this was such a good video and I hate so much about it, I would click right now. What is the main reason you as a pickleball player hate pickleball but still truly love the sport? Like those pet peeves in any relationship. I don't know what I'm talking about, but don't forget to have a good day. And subscribe, that would be great if you could subscribe. And don't hate me. <laughs>